Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to just basically be wrapping up February and showing you the progress that I made for the month of February. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first we're gonna start with my favorite thing, which is letting you know, sorry, my desk is a hot mess, letting you guys know how much debt I was able to pay off for the month of February and I am super excited. Let's get to February. To be able to report that for February, I was able to pay off $1,083.03 Woo for the month of February. And 200 of that dollars, 200 of those dollars did come from savings challenges. So money that I pulled from savings challenges to go ahead and pay off some additional debt. So yay me looking forward to February or not February, March. Oh my goodness. So then I also have an update here. So I just updated my debt. My ally savings account in the beginning of February was $100.00. Now we're at $201.67. And this extra $100 came from the savings challenge that I pulled, which was to go ahead and save an additional $100 this week. So that money, or this month rather, for the month of February. So that money went into Ally. And then in my digit, I was able to save, looks like $22 this month just in digit so super 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 excited about that i am working on getting this number back up to a thousand if you've been here then you know that i had to pull some money for some car repairs so i am trying to get this money back to a thousand and then once this one is completely at a thousand then i'll go ahead and move and start making the ally one a thousand as well so Anyway, I went from literally having zero emergency fund to now having, what is this, about $963, $64 set up. So I'm very, very, very excited with my progress. And it's only February, so it, it just has to go up from here. So yay! All right, so the next thing I wanted to do is go ahead and check and see how much money that I have saved this far. I know I have my totals for January, but I don't know where they they are. So because most of these um, kind of like go, you know, they a lot of these move around. So the money goes in and out, in and out, in and out. It's kind of difficult to keep track that way. So I think what I'm going to do throughout the course of the year is just at the end of every month, just see what's left in the envelopes. I'm not you know, expecting there to always be a lot. Um, but I'm also not expecting there to always be a little bit. So it's definitely going to fluctuate from month to month. So we will start with this binder. And in birthday, I have $150 left. So that's awesome. I feel like I'm starting to lose my light. So I am going to turn on my ring which is now going to add a glare to my tablet let me make sure you guys can still see okay yeah all right so then for travel we now have 100 200 300 350 400 420 430 435 440 441 42 43 and 44 so travel is good. This number, once again, will be lower after next week. And I already forgot what that was. Oh, shucks. Every time I start trying to talk and then I forget. Let's try this again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30, 35, 40. Okay, 444. So that's exciting. Planner stuff has... 20, 30, and 40. And I cannot wait to start like really adding additional money to these envelopes. Now that I am done with my birthday, I am going to be saving for my bestie's birthday, which is coming up in April. So that was one of the reasons why I left the 150 in there because yeah, we really like spoil each other on our day. So 
um, saving money for her birthday, which is coming up next. All right, so $10 in Christmas. I still think... <sighs> hmm... We'll just leave it for now. All right, $10 in crops. I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep this envelope the same or just move it all to the travel envelope because essentially, if I'm doing any of these things, more than likely it would be a traveling experience. So, all right, and then clothes, shoes, etc. also has 10. And I hope you guys can see. Car maintenance, 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And giving has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. And again, this money has been saved since, well, really the end of December, beginning of January. And this is just what I have remaining. So 150 plus 444 plus 40 plus 10 plus 10 plus 75 plus 20. 749. All right. Sweet. So that's the little binder. Then in my big binder, Bills now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 110, 120. And I do need to update these trackers because I did not do that last time. Debt has zero because I did take the money out of the debt envelope to pay debt. Medical has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. Car. 20 and 30. And the Brandy Gillette, Janae is my name, <laughs> has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And if you are new here, I do collect the the bills that have the B, the A, and the J because those are my initials. And I forgot again how much this was. <gasps> 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 33. All right. And then this money I will be saving until the end of the year, hopefully, so that I can purchase either equipment that I need for my Etsy shop or equipment that I may need for my YouTube channel. So 120 plus 72 plus 30 plus 33 is 255. And then we have 50 envelopes. I do not track, so we're not going to worry about that. All right. The sinking funds, that's down on the bottom, but it is in this folder, so I'll count this now. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. $80 in sinking funds. And I'm really hoping to get this one paid off like when I get my taxes. I think I'm going to just make this one be done because I really want to do some additional ones. So, 
I do plan on paying off obviously some more debt with my taxes, but then I do want to put some in the savings challenges and start some new savings challenges. So it's not all going to be going to debt right away. It'll eventually go to debt, but I kind of want to have some fun. So I'm going to do that as well. All right. And then for the last folder, I do not count my hundred envelopes. I think I said that already. The $1 challenge, it should be right, but I'm going to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that tracker is correct. And again, all of this money will be used to pay off debt eventually. Two, four, huh, I wonder how that got in there. Let me take that out and switch it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Hmm. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. I don't know how those got in there. But I am going to switch those out I have um I actually have some two dollar bills that someone just gave me for my birthday so I was gonna stuff those in my next video but I will go ahead and switch these for those and then just stuff those all next time so I'm gonna just put those to the side and then I will that'll remind me later on to switch them all right and then the five dollars five ten fifteen and twenty And these, these envelopes right here get stuffed with rollover money from my wallet. So if I have any rollover money, then I that's what I use to stuff these challenges. It has 10 in the $10 one. So as you can see, I don't really have as many 10s. <laughs> Lift over. And I think in the 20s, I should have 40. Yes, so $40 in 20s and that is the end of that binder all right so oh and then the monthly challenge is also now at zero because i took that out to pay debt for february so six plus 46 plus 20 plus 10 plus 40 282 plus 255 plus 749. Woohoo! It's an overall savings of $1,286. So between January and February, I have managed to hold on to. <laughs> $1,286. This is obviously not at all, not all that I have stuffed, but this is what is left um, from what I've had to remove. So that is still really, really, really awesome. And if for some reason there's just some like freak emergency and I actually, you know, need additional funds, I know that right now in my possession, I have $1,286 that I can take to go take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. And that is absolutely amazing. Hey everybody, it's Future Brandy. And I just came here to announce the giveaway winner. And I'm doing it old school because that's my business. I have one. One. And the winner is... Oh, mommy, you won! This is my mom, you guys. <laughs> That's so exciting. All right, so Tan Clark, you are the winner of the giveaway. So I will, of course, be reaching out to you to let you know that you won. Yay! So that is it, you guys. Like for this video, I just, again, wanted to do a really quick wrap wrap up with you guys. I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope that you all remain safe. And I look forward to catching up with you again in my next video.